Hi there, this is Mar Haddad here. In uh, this video, I just want to show you how you can do the static route using Aruba. So, this is our scenario. I do have two routers. So those are Aruba routers, router 1 and router 2. So, I don't have any configuration on those routers at all. What I need to do is just to put the IP addresses as you can see. So, this router on the interface 1 slash 1 slash 1, I put 192.168.12.1. And on that router, I put 192.168.12.2. Now I create loopback interfaces. So those interfaces, this one and this one, they are loopback. They are like a LAN for each of the router. So I want to put the uh, IP addresses on those loopback interfaces, as you can see in the graph. So the idea is that I want to make static route on Aruba. In this case, that the computers which are on this LAN can reach the computer which are on this LAN and vice versa. All right, so this is the whole mission of uh, this lab. Let's go directly now to, uh, the, uh, to the configuration to show you how you can do that on Aruba routers. So I'm using here, as you can see, GNS3, and uh, on this GNS3, I do have those two routers connected. I need to put IP address, I need to put the loopback, and I need to do the static route. I don't have any configuration at this moment. So if we look now, this is router one. Actually, it's a switch, uh, it's a layer 3 switch, but of course, as it is a layer 3, so you have to think it's like a router. So here I put admin and password, nothing. Let's change first the name of the router. So I'll just make it hostname router1. So we know that that is router1. So that is router1 here, and we go to the second switch. And configure terminal. And then I have to say hostname router2. So I have router1 and I have router2. We start with router1. Please look to the graph always to follow what I'm doing. So first of all, I need to put IP addresses on router1. So how to do that? I have to uh, go from here to uh, interface. And then if I make question mark, you see that I have this one, IF name, interface name. So in my case, I'm using one slash one slash one. This was the one which is connected to router two. One slash one slash one. And then I put an IP address. So I say IP address 192.168.12.1 slash 24. So this is done on that interface. Now I need to create a loopback interface. I can write interface loopback zero. So this takes me to the loopback interface. And then I have to put the IP address. Remember, if we look back to the picture, so let me just uh, again show you on from that side, it is 10.0.0.1 and from router 2, 172.16.0.1. So I'm gonna put 10.0.0.1. IP address 10.0.0.1 slash 24. So I'm done on that router. We go to router 2. Now I have to go to the configure terminal, we're already there, so I have to go to interface 1 slash 1 slash 1, IP address 192.168.12.2 in this case, as you see on the graph. And then I have to go to the interface loopback 0. We should write interface loopback 0, and then IP address one set to sixteen to zero dot one slash twenty four. So the loopback interfaces are nothing more like a representation as it is a LAN because I don't have LAN from both sides. So now to be sure that we have done the configuration correctly, I will go from here and I will say show IP interface brief on router one. Then you see this one has an IP. Oh, we forget to say no shutdown because at this moment it is still down. Same if we check here. Show IP interface brief, it is down. So we have to go to the interface one slash one slash one, and we have always to say no shutdown. So it is zero down, and then we go to router one, interface one slash one slash one, and we say no shutdown. Now, if I say show IP interface brief to check, here we go. So now the interface is up from this side, from here, if I repeat the comment, show interface, show IP interface brief, it is up. So from router one, let's ping 192.168.12.2, which is router two. 
Here we go, we have a ping reply. Very good, so this is working now, the IP connectivity. Now, if I try from router1 to ping to um, 172.16.0.1, you see, network is unreachable. Why? Because router1 doesn't know how to reach to that one. And if you want, from router1, we can say show IP route. So you see on his routing table, he doesn't know anything about 172.16.0 network. So he knows about uh, the uh, 10, which is uh, connected on his loopback. He knows about 1.2, but he doesn't know anything about 172. So how to solve the problem? To solve the problem, we need to configure static route. So how to configure such a route? Straightforward. I'll go to the configure terminal. I have to say IP route. So I'm saying to the router, if you want to reach to 172.16.0.0 network, which has a subnet mask slash 24. So I'm telling him, if you want to go to 172.16.0.0 network, then send all your traffic to your next hop. And in this case, the next hop is this interface, which is 192.168.12.2. All right, so that's what I need to do. So here I have to say, to go to that uh, network, send everything to 192.168.12.2. Now, if I do here uh, IP route, you can see that now he knows how to reach to 172.16.0.0 network because he has to send everything to 192.168.12.2. That means if router one now, I issue a ping to this network, then router one can reach it. Not this network, router one, because router one, he will say, okay, I want to go to 172.16.0.0 network. I know I have to send it to here. Then router two will check, oh, I'm receiving from 192.168.12.1 because the ping will go from the outgoing interface of router one. So he said, I'm receiving here from that router saying he want to go to this network. Yeah, that's fine. I know about this network. About I know about this network. I will send it to him. Then this will come back and then the router two, he will see that, oh, this time I need to send it back to 192.168.12.1. I know about it because it's in my routing table. Then he will send it back to router one. And if you want, let me show you that right away. So from router one, if I do ping to 172.16.0.1, you can see it's able to ping. Why? Again, if I want to show you that, show IP route, router one knows how to send it to, to this network. He say, all right, I have to send everything to my next hop, which is router two. Router two, on his IP uh, routing table, you say, oh, you want to go to 172.16.0.0? I know how to send it because it's in my routing table. You send it to that network. Now, that network, when he reply back, you reply to him. You say, please send a reply to 192.168.12.1. Then you will see router 2. Oh, I know about that network. It's connected directly to me, so I can forward it to him. But if we try to ping from router 1 to 172.16.0.1 from the IP, which is 10.0.0.1, which is the loopback. So in this case, what I'm doing from router one, I'm saying I want to ping from here to here. Then in this case, you can see it's not going to work. Why? Because router one, if you see now, router one is sending this to router two, but router two does not know anything about 10. The zero, the zero, the, uh, zero network because router 2 needs to reply back to that network but router 2 does not know anything about that and if you want let me show you look router 2 if you say show IP route he doesn't know anything about the 10 network you know about 172 about 192 168.12 but he doesn't know about 10 so what you need to do you have to do a route back from router 2 so in this case, I have to say IP route to reach 10.0.0.0 network slash 24, send everything to 192.168.12.1. So what I'm saying here from router 2, that, okay, router 2, if you want to reply to that network, then send everything to router 1, and router 1 knows how to continue. All right, so that's what I need to do now. Enter. So at this time, if we look here, router 1 knows how to reach to that network. Router 2 knows how to reach to that network. Of course, Router 1 knows about those connected two networks. Router 2 same. Then in this case, the ping should work. So 
let's try that. I'll go now back to router one. You see before they were not having any ping. So you see there were five packets transmitted, zero received. Packet loss is 100%. Now if I repeat the ping, here we go. So now router one can ping from his interface, which is 10.0.0.1 network, dot uh, one IP address. He can uh, send the ping to 172.16.0.1 and he can receive it back. And in this case, you see, this is how you can configure the um, the uh, static route. Now, let's imagine that router one has, uh, for example, connection to the internet. All right, so let's just imagine that, that router one has a connection to the internet. And of course, when you have connection to the internet, you need to do a default route. Default route means that to go to anywhere, send it from the internet. All right, so uh, in this case, I just want to show you how you can make the de default static route. Let's go to router one. To make this default static route, I have to go, go to configure terminal. And all you need to do, you have to say IP route to go to 0000, and then you make here slash zero. So that means to go to anywhere, and then you say, what is the next hop IP address? In this case, let's say that uh, the next hop IP address, which is the router of the ISP, let's give it uh, any IP address. So 10.10.10.1, for example. All right, so in this case, what you will have, if we say show IP route, look, then you see that, uh, of course, now it doesn't show in the, uh, the default route because we do not have any connection to that interface, which is the ISP router. But in case you have a connection to the ISP router, you would see here the default route showing up. So this is all what I wanted to show you in uh, this uh, video. It's all about how to configure static route and default static route on the uh, Aruba routers. I hope that this video was informative for you and I will see you in some other videos.